in this video i will discuss about 74138 ic which is nothing but 3 3 is to 8 decoder or 3 to 8 decoder in my previous lecture already we have studied 3 to 8 decoder but this 74138 is a integrated chip which is designed such that it will perform 3 to 8 decoder operation 74138 is an integrated chip which is 3 to 8 decoder it has total 16 pins it has three input pins three enable input pins and eight active low output pins the circuit 3 to 8 decoder which i have explained in my previous lecture which has active high output pins but 74138 is having eight active low output pins so this is the 74138 logic symbol here we can see that this 74138 is 16 pin ic among 16 pins we have 1 2 3 are the input pins so these are input pins it is also called select lines and these are the enable pins we can call it as enable pins and here we have output pins so here we can see that there is a bubble this indicates active low output that is we have active low outputs so here we can see that this is 3 plus 3 6 and here we have 8 14 pins along with that we have eighth pin which is ground and we have one more pin 16 which is connected to vcc so total we have 16 pins so in 74138 we have three enable pins in that three enable pins are one is g1 another one is g2 a dash g2 b dash so here this g1 line should always be equal to high or logic 1 this line should be always zero and this line should be always zero then only this 74138 ic is active then depending on the select lines or the input lines any one of the output line is low rest all lines are high so in active low outputs one of the line is low that is zero rest all lines are high now let me explain the truth table of this or function table of this 74138 ic so as i said it has g1 g2 a dash g2 b dash are the enable pins and cba are the we have these are the input pins here i will assume that c is msb and i will assume a is lsb so let cba i will write it in msb to lsb form so when g1 line is zero that is as i said g1 line should be always high g2 a dash should be zero and g2 b dash should be zero suppose if g1 line is low irrespective of g2 line and irrespective of the inputs the output is always high all outputs are high that is if enable pin that is g1 pin is zero then all the outputs are high irrespective of remaining inputs so similarly as i said g2 a dash should be zero if it is one that is if this is one irrespective of g1 and g2 b dash that is let this be don't care this x indicates don't care it means either g1 is 0 or 1 if g2 dash is 1 irrespective of this input g2 b dash irrespective of inputs again all the outputs are high like this similarly we have one more enable pin that is g2 b dash as i said g2 b dash should be 0 what if g2 b dash is 1 that is if g2 b dash line is 1 irrespective of these two signals either it may be 0 or 1 and the input signals either it is 0 or 1 i will take it as don't care it indicates a value or b value c value either 0 or 1 irrespective of 0 and 1 irrespective of 0 and 1 all the outputs are high like this so it means that the g1 should be always 1 and g2 a dash g2 b dash should be 
zero zero. So let me take g one as one. This should be always zero. This should be always zero. So this is, then only seven four one three eight I C is active. Now let me take. We have three inputs. So two power three is eight. Eight possible combinations we can get. So the possible combinations are zero zero zero. Zero zero one. We have zero one zero. We have zero one one. We have one zero zero. We have one zero one. We have one one zero, and we have one one one. So these should be always one 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 and one. This should be always also one zero. This should be zero. Similarly, this should be zero. So now, if the input C is zero, B is zero, and A is zero, that is, if C B A input is zero, then Y not line will will be zero. Rest all lines will be high. As I said, active low outputs, that is, Y not line will go low. That is, it will become zero. Rest all lines are one. So in that case, only Y not line is zero. Rest all are one, like this. So now similarly, zero zero one. In that case, y one line is one. That is here, if it is zero zero one, then y one line will go low. Rest all line will be high. That is, in that case, this line is zero. Rest all are one. So similarly, for zero one zero, y two line is zero. Rest all are one. Like this, in zero. One one y three line is zero. Rest all lines are one. Similarly, for one zero zero y four line is zero. Rest all lines are one. For one one zero one y five line is zero. Rest all are one. One one zero that is y six is zero. Rest all are one. And for one 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 we have. Y seven line is zero. Rest all are one. So this is the function table of seven four one three eight three is to eight decoder. Now let me write the output equations according to this true table. So here we can see that at y not. It has active low output. That is, for y not, the result will be zero. As if I compare this table with three to three to eight decoder, which I have explained in my previous lecture, where for y for zero 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 combinations, here we have one, rest all are zero. So in that case, the output equation was c bar, b bar, a bar. But here, for y not line is active low, as the output lines are active low. So when it is zero zero zero. I can write y not will be equal to c bar. We have b bar. We have a bar. As this is active low output, we supposed to take complement of this. So y not will be equal to c bar, b bar, a bar complement. So same thing I can write here. That is y not will be c bar, b bar, a bar because of active low. We supposed to put one complement. So in my previous lecture, where in three to eight decoder, the output was active high. In that case, it will be simply C bar, B bar, A bar. Here it is active low, so we have to take complement. So for Y one, here we can see that. So for Y one, the corresponding inputs are zero, zero, one. That is nothing but C bar, B bar, A complement. That is C bar, B bar. A, we have complement. So similarly, for Y two, the corresponding inputs are zero, one, zero. That is C bar B A bar. That is C bar B A bar whole bar. Similarly, for Y three line, the corresponding inputs are zero, one, one. That is C bar B A. That is C bar B. A complement. 
similarly for y4 line the corresponding inputs are 1 0 0 that is c b bar a bar that is c b bar a bar we have complement so for fifth line y5 here it is 0 corresponding inputs are 1 0 1 that is c b bar a we have c b bar a complement so for y6 we have 1 1 0 that is c b a bar we have c b a bar whole bar similarly for y7 the corresponding inputs are 1 1 1 that is c b a bar we have c b a whole bar so these are the output equations of 74138 output lines so now let me verify if i consider a equal to 0 b equal to 0 and c equal to 0 in that case here we have c bar b bar a bar that is c bar is 1 dot 1 dot 1 whole bar so 1 dot 1 dot 1 is nothing but 1 whole bar is nothing but 0 similarly for y1 if i take c bar is 1 b bar is 1 a is 0 so 1 dot 1 dot 0 is nothing but 0 bar which is equal to 1 likewise for all y2 to y7 also we will get 1 1 1 1 1 and 1 only for y0 line we will get 0 that is for a equal to b equal to c is equal to 0 so likewise if we choose all other inputs the corresponding line will go low rest all lines will be high so this is the explanation about 74138 ic which is nothing but 328 decoder thank you for watching